Episode 23, Min Hui and Xin Shi confirm that each other is their favorite, Cheng Chirong was sent to the hospital with wounds on his face, because he was beaten by stealing food, Cheng Chirong naturally did not dare to speak up, after Xin Shi completed the hospitalization procedures, Cheng Chirong deliberately said that he was going to sue Min Hui for intentionally hurting others, Xin Chi Chi took over such a big talent industry. Everyone has seen it before. Naturally, he knows how to deal with this kind of rascal. He reminded Cheng Chirong to just let it go, he already has enough evidence. Cheng Chirong sexually harassed Min Hui twice, enough for him to eat for a while I'm in jail. Just as Min Hui walked to the door of the ward and heard the conversation between the two, Cheng Chirong didn't understand how Xian Chi chased Min Hui and deliberately sowed discord, saying that maybe Min Hui approached him deliberately for his money. It's not the first day Xian Chi knew Min Hui, of course he knew Min Hui's character, he admitted frankly that it was because of his villainous heart that he hurt Min Hui several times, now Xian Chi protects Min Hui everywhere, which makes her very moved. Maybe this man is really worth entrusting. The two of them are under the moonlight. Min Hui took out the earrings she saw at Xian Chi's house. They were all hidden by Xian Chi, and now let Xian Chi put them on for her personally, the two of them fought like fire, and that night they were like glue. In the morning, Min Hui opened her eyes and saw her son staring at them. She thought her son was angry and sent him to his aunt's house. Mom hugged him to sleep together. Now the family of three is finally reunited and can be together happily ever after. Chao Mu thought that the company was about to be acquired, and after much deliberation, he felt that it would be better for them to decide their own destiny, so he discussed with Min Hui and the leader He Hai Xiang that the board of directors planned internally and planned to be acquired by the management, so that their future destiny could be determined by themselves. Chao Mu's idea is very good, Min Hui and He Hai Xiang have no problem at all, but there is a huge gap in funds, they need to think of a way, Xian Qi has been thinking about the acquisition of Bayan. He discussed with his sister and planned to borrow in his own name, so that he can get at least 500 million yuan. With Xian Qi's support, Min Hui will own shares in Bayan, and Bayan will also be her company in the future, and she is very happy. With Xian Chi's joining, Min Hui suddenly feels like she is on the rise. The child has a father, I also have a good helper in my career, Quan Quan personally made a necklace for his mother. Seeing that his mother was unhappy some time ago, he tried to make her happy. Xian Chi couldn't help being jealous. Unexpectedly, Quan Quan also prepared a gift for Xian Chi. The exact same children's watch. Xian Chi wore it on his wrist and held it with his son's hand, feeling very proud. Zhou Ruji is also trying his best to pursue Yao Zizhu, such as sending her different flowers every day and picking her up from work on time. At first, she was rejected many times, but Zhou Ruji's perseverance finally impressed Yao Zizhu. Zhou Ruji once again got the opportunity to go shopping with beautiful women and was asked to wear ladies' high heels, even so, Zhou Ruji was reluctant to give up, the relationship between Min Hui and Xian Qi has heated up sharply, but their respective companies are still in a cooperative relationship. Min Hui told Xian Qi that they should keep a low profile, so when they met the company's shareholders meeting, the two deliberately avoided suspicion. It was originally discussed not to take the same elevator, but because there were so many people going to work, the elevator turned and stopped next to Xian Qi, and the two of them kept making intimate movements in the elevator room. He Hai Chao didn't know the relationship between the two, and wondered how Xian Qi made Min Hui get out of the elevator first. 